Hey guys, what's up? By Sactatron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and this is another heavy hitters oriented video uh, that I got from the War Against Dark Looters. It uh, has a lot of great Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 11 attacks, and pretty much I think this was the only composition we saw. Uh, or at least the only one that was successful that got the two star was the bowler, some kind of bowler based attack. There was a little bit of variation, but I wanted to show just a few bowler attacks uh, for two stars. I think they are somewhat base specific. Dark Ludus did have a certain type of Town Hall 11 base that other clans don't have as much. So don't you know think this is the only way to do it. Um, we still see Valks, we see, still see Dragons, and both are applicable to certain bases. But let's take a look at a few um, bowler attacks at Town Hall 10, uh, used to two-star these Town Hall 11s, and talk about why they worked, and kind of uh, maybe a few defensive tips if I can think of some. I'm not a you know an expert on Town Hall 11, I'm a Town Hall 10 myself, but we'll just talk through it, see what we can... Uh, learn from these uh, these attacks. So a few archers at the beginning, which is what you want to do in case the eagle doesn't go down during the attack. You want to get that percentage at the beginning so the archers don't get wrecked by the eagle if you drop them at the end because the eagle can cover the whole map, obviously. Anyway, though, drops down that those two golems and they're doing all the tanking, which lets those bowlers start really wide and work their way in. Great way to do it. Um, bowlers, we talk about funneling bowlers a lot on the channel. But another great tip, start on the outside and work your way in with the bowlers, uh, making sure they all go in the base here. You don't want any walking. You need all that firepower against these Town Hall 11 bases. Good freeze on the Inferno and gets a few other buildings as well. The jump spell let the bowlers in there. They got the Town Hall taken out pretty quickly. Then here come these baby dragons. That's something you can use to supplement the bowlers. Uh, now the bowlers are probably going to be more percentage oriented than Valks. Valks are kind of just going to go straight in for that Town Hall if you do it right. Bowlers are going to kind of meander a little bit more. They're going to take out buildings with their second bounce. They should make it easier on your baby dragons to get that 50%. Uh, so that's one benefit. Now the other, one of the uh, the challenges of bowlers, or one of the things that um, makes them a little less effective than Valks at times, is the fact that they don't run straight into the base. They can get distracted. They can walk. The Valks are a little bit easier to predict their pathing. So it's kind of a give or take, but... Uh, bowlers are very effective on certain bases. Great job. Um, I, lo I love the beginning that Ben did here with the bowlers starting wide and working his way in. And he was able to do that because the golems were taking all those defenses. So he didn't have to worry about any of them being targeted. Uh, had plenty of time to get the funneling created, which is very important for this attack, as you guys can obviously tell. Um, next one, how about a Wii um, and another Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 11? He does use a few Valks here and... I have said this in the past, mainly for Town Hall 10 v Town Hall 10 3 stars, but I think this probably applies to Town Hall 11 as well. I don't see why it wouldn't now that I think about it, but bowlers are very susceptible to giant bombs. They don't have a ton of hit points. A giant bomb won't kill them completely, but it'll take them pretty low. So dropping a few Valks in front of your bowlers can the Valks will run out in front, trigger bombs more so than golems. Golems are a little bit slower and they go for defenses, which might not be the pathing path that will re be required to trigger the giant bomb. So the Valks are going to run out in front, uh, take out heroes, take out CC troops, do tanking, uh, just to do a bunch of stuff that the bowlers can't do. And it helps spread out your kill squad and keep some of that splash damage off your bowlers, which is very important, especially from those giant bombs or CC troops in that can, you know, clump up on your bowlers. So anyway, just kind of a straightforward deployment here. Uh, goes ahead and gets the two corner buildings taken out. Always have to stress this. These two buildings and then uh, the buildings on the outside of the walls. Those are the most important for funneling. And then from there, his troops are pretty much going into the middle. A few bowlers do walk at the bottom, but no big deal. Um, has that heal, which is good because uh, the Infernos aren't quite in range. Helps keep those bowlers up despite a giant bomb and a few other defenses in the way. Uh, Town Hall goes down very easily. Uh, that oh that one giant bomb looks like I got a ton of bowlers taken out, but once you get the town hall, that's pretty much all you're going for. And I guess I guess I misspoke on the Valks. I I thought they went into the base. No, he dropped them at the bottom here to get some defenses or get some trash throwings taken out. I think he probably forgot to drop them because it was a it was a big waste of Valks to be honest. They just end up 
beating on that wall for the rest of the attack. So I'm pretty sure the whole purpose was to drop them on the inside of the base and to kind of do what I said at the beginning of the video or the beginning of the, this attack. But I guess he forgets. He gets a few percentage uh, points with them and it works out fine because he got the town hall anyway. A uh, little bit. Ken, this one would have been a heartbreak though if he almost got the town hall but not quite. But luckily he gets it. Gets about 55%. Good attack there to how about a wee. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Okay, I think just straight down number three. Joe Mama, and uh, this is a, yeah, pretty similar to the first one. Doesn't have the Valks, but um, not 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 everyone does bring Valks. It's kind of more of a rare thing, actually, I think, uh, which I might not agree with, but I'm not a Town Hall 11 two-star expert like some Town Hall 10s are. Uh, drops down that Golem, which is taking a lot of damage right there. That's five max point defense that'll get down pretty quickly so it has to work quickly the boulders probably could have been down a little bit quicker but it's hard to deploy in the heat of battle i understand that always easier when you're watching on replay to say how people could have been quicker anyway drops down those boulders up top i like how he gets that archer tower with the second bounce as well as that wizard tower uh great stuff there very very uh slick um, second bounce planning i assume that was planned if not i guess he got kind of lucky i like that freeze it's Sometimes you want to use those freezes early and just make sure there's no damage coming from the infernos on your bowlers, especially when you're using a heal, and I believe he did have a heal in there. So you want to make sure they do get the full benefit of that heal, not interrupted by the inferno. Uh, basically, things just kind of force their way in. The bowlers and the queen end up on the town hall, get it taken out. From there has those six baby dragons, and look where the air defenses are. He's going to get a ton of percentage just from those baby dragons because all there is is a few archer towers. you got to be careful with those seeking air mines, though. Uh, already lost two baby dragons. Pretty much Town Hall 11s are getting very bold with their Seeking Air Mines. There's really no reason for them to put them inside the base. Uh, and I guess for... Uh, dragons, but those are less common than using baby dragons around the outside. So what we're seeing is people putting them pretty much on the outside of the base there. Uh, got down pretty close. I guess he wasn't sure what to do. Dropped down a barbarian and a wizard for that uh, army camp, which was perfect. Then from there, I liked how he just took that army camp. Um, there's other places to drop it, obviously, but he knew there was no seeking air mines because I believe he had already dropped baby dragons in the area because it would have sucked it, I think, like 49% or whatever to have the uh, have the seeking air mine come up and kill the baby dragon. So good stuff there. One more attack. There was a lot. Like I said, all of the successful two stars were this strategy. Um, this is a ban. I think we already showed one of his attacks or was it the last video? I've been recording this war pretty much nonstop to try to get it. Uh, get it done because I only have a, a day to do it and I, I doubt I'll be doing it tomorrow so I'm recording this all Sunday night you'll probably see this later in the week but I have to get it recorded ahead of time obviously anyway though Ben coming in here I like how he dropped the golems wide so the bowlers that created the funnel were being tanked and he doesn't have to worry about them going down and they actually work their way in and meet up with the middle force so that way he doesn't have to waste bowlers just with funneling they funnel and then they just kind of make their way on in towards the middle of the base. Look at all of those expos. Uh, freezes two of them, almost got that third one. That was pretty funny. I like saw that and I'm like, is there a new defense at Town Hall uh, 11? Because it was like such a weird combination of seeing all those uh, little darts firing from the expos. But yeah, it just has four expos in one compartment, which will take troops down pretty quickly, as you can see. Um, and has that moat to protect them. That's an interesting base, by the way. Uh, but anyway, baby dragons as usual. Um, these level 4 baby dragons are very good at Town Hall 10. You want to keep them away from each other. They do get kind of clumped up here, but at this point, he knows he just needs a few more buildings. Doesn't want to take any risks with Seeking Air Mines, which I assume there was a few up around here. Um, that's one thing to always look for in a cleanup attack, by the way. If someone had attacked the base already, obviously you're going to watch the attack, but pay, pay careful attention to where the Seeking Air Mines were. You don't want to make the same mistake twice. Sometimes you can just avoid that area or drop a balloon or something to tri trigger it, whatever it takes. So anyway, awesome attacks to everyone. Sorry about the notification. Um, I guess while this is up, I, I accidentally tapped on this. Uh, good war to Dark Looters, like I said, probably earlier this week in a different video already. But good job to Dark Looters. Uh, it was a great war. And uh, yeah, hope you guys like this video. Um, Town Hall 10s, get out there, get these two stars done. They're super important. And uh, 
you know, the quicker they get done, the more attacks through are left to actually try to three-star Town Hall 10s with Town Hall 10 attacks, which we haven't seen much of. I don't think there was any in this war, but um, I'm sure it would definitely help the Town Hall 11s. Uh, the more attacks, the merrier for those three-star attempts. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video, and I'll see you guys in my next video, which, uh, well, who knows when this video will be uploaded, like I said. So see you guys then. Bisectatron out.